Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Timothy chapter 3. This is a faithful saying, says Paul. Someone who seeks to be an overseer desires a good work. The overseer, therefore, must be without reproach. The husband of one wife, temperate, sensible, modest, hospitable, good at teaching, not a drinker, not violent, not greedy for money, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not covetous, one who rules his own house well, having children in subjection with all reverence. But how could someone who doesn't know how to rule one's own house take care of God's assembly? Not a new convert, lest being puffed up, he fall into the same condemnation as the devil. Moreover, he must have good testimony from those who are outside to avoid falling into reproach and the snare of the devil. Servants in the same way must be reverent, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for money, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. Notice the scriptures talk about masters and servants, but never condemns the idea of masters and servants. The scriptures, the Bible tells masters how to treat their servants and tells the servants how to serve their masters. But nowhere does it ever say, well, there shouldn't be servants and masters. They should be all equal. That's not what it says. Let them also be first tested, then let them serve if they are blameless. Their wives in the same way must be reverent, not slanderers, temperate, and faithful in all things. Let servants be husbands of one wife, ruling their children and their own houses well. Paul here exhorts church leaders to be husbands of one wife, not husbands of 15 wives. And we know by the way that Paul talked about marriage in his letter to the Corinthians that he believes that being married takes a lot of time from a person. So if you're married, you don't have as much time with the Lord as you would if you're not married. So Paul says here, if you want to be a leader in the church, it's best to be a husband of one wife because if you have a lot of different wives, you're not going to have time for the assembly of God. Let servants be husbands of one wife, ruling their children and their own houses well. For those who have served well gain for themselves a good standing and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. These things I write to you, hoping to come to you shortly. But if I wait long, that you may know how men ought to behave themselves in God's house, which is the assembly of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Without controversy, the mystery of godliness is great. God was revealed in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the nations, believed on in the world, and received up in glory. Seek him while he may be found. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.